just making a video here to show uh, a four valve air compressor head that uh, I built about uh, 20 years ago. This one's got, uh, you can see the water jacket here, and uh, the, these are the inlet valves, two of them. And there's two exhaust valves leading into a big pipe with a cap on it for the exhaust enclosure leading away. Um, you notice here I sloped the uh, pipes going to the inlets. That lets me uh, use more of the uh, their uh, combustion chamber that fit larger valves in to the uh, area of the uh, given piston anyways. So uh, trying to maximize things there and at the same time you want the the discharge pipes going through the head into the exhaust valve to be as, as small as practical because this volume here uh, will reduce uh, the amount of uh, air that gets pushed out of the engine so to maximize it you want uh, you want to make that as small as practical you make it too small then the, the gas will uh, can't flow through it fast enough. If you make it too big, then it reduces your, in effect, compression ratio. So I can, uh, I'll show you here my uh, uh, Briggs and Stratton based uh, air compressor. As you notice, uh, flip it over here. See the the size of the hole going to the uh, leading to the inlet valve. There is uh, considerably larger than the one leading to the exhaust and in this case the the valve is set down in so that the piston can come right up uh, against the head again uh, the purpose of that is to maximize uh, output by minimizing uh, I guess you call it combustion chamber volume anyway just wanted to uh, make that video there to show the, uh, the four valve head that I built I built it, but I never uh, mounted on a, an engine. Uh, it's going to run it with an 8-horse uh, gas engine through a V-belt drive.